Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, my name is Dana. I upload new videos at least once a week, and usually there's something tea related. Today, I'm going to try the last of the teas from David's Teas Wellness Collection. The Wellness Collection came out in the beginning of January as like a nice way to start off the new year with like your wellness in mind. Um, so all of these teas have really nice intentions and really cool ingredients that are known to do nice things for you. So this is the last one and it is called Cool Eucalyptus. Okay, you know the drill. We're gonna get our tea steeping before we get too into talking about it. This one has a very strong scent already, which I didn't expect any less, honestly, when I heard that it was eucalyptus. But we'll just go ahead and put it in our infuser. We'll pour our water right over. Okay, and we will set this guy to the side so we can check out the tea. Cool eucalyptus. This one is a green tea, so you know it's gonna have a special place in my heart because I love green teas. The description says, Clear your sinuses with spearmint, eucalyptus, juniper, and energizing green tea. The ingredients are currants, hibiscus, spearmint, juniper berries, green tea, blueberries, eucalyptus, and, ooh, I don't know this word, schizandra berries. S-C-H-I-Z-A-N-D-R-A. Schrizanda berries? Am I saying it wrong? I've never heard of those. And also there's natural flavoring. This tea reminds me a lot of David's Tea's Cold 911, which is my personal go-to for anytime my throat hurts, anytime I'm not feeling good. We used to do a thing called cold bombs at David's Tea where we would make like a lightly iced version of Cold 911 and put it in our cup and wait till all the ice melts and then we would take a matcha shot, drop it in and chug it. And at first, you know, you didn't feel too good because you just consumed like a ton of liquid. But then after a while, you feel like you could like take on anything. And if you have a cold, it's supposed to really like knock it out of there for you. So this is super cool because it's already a green tea. And of course, like you could benefit like anything by adding matcha. Like, uh, just the fact that there's like just that little bit of caffeine um, is really nice because sometimes you're sick, but you still, you know, you'll have like a cold or something. You'll still have to go to school. You'll still have to go to work. So I like the idea of like something that'll help clear your sinuses, but it also has caffeine. Cause I mean, sometimes your sinuses are stuffed cause you have like allergies. It's not always you're sick. So sometimes like you're not contagious. You just got some like stuffiness going on and you gotta still like go, go about your day and like, you know, go out there and accomplish your goals. So I like that this has that little bit of caffeine to kind of like help make that happen for you. I'm smelling the spearmint real strong. If I'm being real, it does smell like something you'd have when you're sick. I like mint, but I don't know if I'm gonna love this. This has way more spearmint than it has eucalyptus. I definitely see the berries. I don't know if these are the blueberries or the schrizanda berries, which I don't know what those are. We might have to get, get my phone out and do a little bit of research again. Because I know what eucalyptus is good for. Eucalyptus is used a lot in aromatherapy. It's kind of like an uplifting, nice aroma. It's in a lot of like stress reliefs. Like I think the Bath and Body Works stress relief lotion has eucalyptus and it is known to kind of help clear you out. So if you've got some like stuffiness and some sinus stuff, eucalyptus is the way to go. And then mint is very soothing on your throat. So I think like with some honey, this tea could probably like be a miracle worker when you're sick. But there are these really big chunks of berries. I don't know if these are the blueberries or the schizanda berries, but they're like big clumps and they look kind of like raisins. But I know they're not raisins because that's not in the description. And then of course, juniper berries, which are also in one of my favorite teas, David's Teas Detox. And then I see, you know, the leaves, which are the mint. I see like the little hibiscus. This is how it looks in the spoon. Usually with things like, like last week I put up a video of Tulsi Tranquility and I didn't really know a whole lot about what Tulsi was, but I kind of, I like I'd heard of it before, but I have never heard of Shrizanda berries ever. It sounds like something from Willy Wonka, like schnozberries or something, except even more weird, honestly. Let's see if I can find out what these guys are. S-C-H. 
I Z A N D R A berries. I'm seeing like a lot of like supplements, like the Shizandra extract in like little um, containers like that, like like a supplement, like a vitamin sort of thing. And I see powders. So here is just an overview. Looks like this is from Wikipedia, but it looks like a like red berry. And it says, Trisanda chinensis, whose fruit is called magnolia berry, or five flavor fruit, is a delicious woody vine native to the forests of China. It's called five flavored berry due to the fact that it's sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and pungent. So it's not something that people eat, I guess. It's more so used as like a supplement. Like it's not like a berry that you'd put on your oatmeal or in your yogurt. Thus, it's been used in medical preparations for longevity and overall vitality. So it honestly just sounds like a really cool like wellness ingredient. It's help you fight the kind of fatigue that you get when you're not feeling so good. Kind of like that they included like a cold fighting tea in the wellness collection because I feel like a lot of the time they would come out with like a cold collection where you know it would be things that are like known to help you when you're sick and it would be like a sick tea collection and like those are all like necessities you know, most people that's what they think of tea as like something to drink like when you're not feeling good whenever there would be collections like there was one that had like throat rescue and um i can't remember if they brought out anything else besides that but it was like really focusing on the cold 911 and we, when I worked at David's Tea, we would like sample teas. Like as people would walk by, we'd stand out there with like a pitcher of tea and be like, hi, would you like to try some tea? And usually it would be like, would you like to try some chai tea? Or like, would you like to try some strawberry tea? But when it was like the sick tea, it was like, hey, wanna try throat rescue? And it was like really, it was just awkward. It was like an awkward thing to say. I'm sure like thinking back, we could have been like, wanna try some licorice root tea? Because throat rescue was really sweet and delicious because it was loaded with licorice root so I mean we could have phrased it better but just the fact that the whole collection like the focus was on like tea to drink when you're sick made it really hard to like get people hyped up and excited about it because we'd be like want to try some throat tea and they'd be like no I feel fine my throat's good like I don't feel sick so it's just like weird, like awkward interactions trying to get people to try it. So I feel like putting the focus on like a whole collection that's like for illness doesn't really like spark excitement for people. So I, I always felt like it was hard to sell. Like, of course there'd be people who would come through the door and be like, my daughter's sick, she has laryngitis, what can I give to her? And like, we're not doctors, nothing like that. Like we can't be like, this tea will cure her, but of course we had options where it was like okay maybe try this tea like this could help like soothe her throat or like this tea could help clear her sinuses so there's always customers for that and there's always a market for like i'm not feeling good i need some tea but it's just not exciting to sell like it's not like people walking by on the street aren't like sick and looking for tea you know? so i kind of hope that instead of like going the route of doing like the um doing like the sick tea collection this year or like the cold 911 collection. I hope that like they've just worked this tea into the wellness collection and they can kind of like work in the sick teas as they go instead of being like, here's a whole collection of tea for when you're sick. It's part of like a cool collection and people might be like, ooh, eucalyptus, that's fun. Like it's not called something like throat rescue or like cold 911, it's called cool eucalyptus. So you might be like, hmm, eucalyptus, that's like, that sounds fun to try. Eucalyptus isn't an ingredient that you really have in other things except like tea or like aromatherapy. So I, I like that they called it that and didn't call it like something cold related. And it smells very strongly of spearmint. So I feel like the spearmint might overpower the flavor of the eucalyptus, but I feel like it's not so much the flavor as it's going to be the effect, I guess. Um, because when you drink even mint tea, like there's that, there's that like cooling factor where it kind of like cools your throat and it feels really good and really nice and like very cool. I'm more looking forward to like the cooling effects of the eucalyptus and the spearmint than I am the taste, I guess. The infuser. 
we can look to hibiscus. This tea does have a little bit of like a different color than a regular green tea would. Like when I look down into the cup, I see it a little more than when I look through the sides, but I am seeing a reddish tint to it. Not a whole lot, like it's not bright red like me too. Still smells pretty minty. A couple years ago for their like first collection of the year, they had a Moroccan mint and that was a really cool collection because it kind of seemed like exotic sort of. Like the patterns and everything on the teaware was like, it was like these guys and like obviously cool. And I loved the Moroccan mint because it was so simple. It was literally just a green tea and it had peppermint and spearmint and that's it. And it was so like nice to drink. And like, I didn't feel like drinking it when I had like a cold. Like I would drink that as a regular like day-to-day -day tea. So maybe this one could give that same sort of vibe. You know, like you don't have to be sick to drink this. It's called Cool Eucalyptus. So smelling the tea, I am smelling a bit of that juniper berry. Um, juniper gives a really like piney sort of flavor. If you, holidays, if you tried Starbucks's juniper latte, you'll kind of know. Um, it tasted just like a Christmas tree. It was super weird to mix that flavor with like milk and coffee, like in a latte. That was wild, I was not a fan of that. But juniper and tea taste pretty good, I'd say. So I smell actually what they use to make gin. So if you're a fan of like gin drinks, you probably would like tea that has juniper in it. So that's kind of a fun fact. It does smell a little bit like medicine-y. I do smell like sort of a medicinal kind of quality, so I'm not sure I'm gonna love it, but there's nothing left to do but to try it. It's not bad. So it's definitely not as like strong and medicinal as I expected from smelling the tea leaves and smelling the tea. It's kind of nice actually. Yeah, I like it, okay. So personally, I think I would prefer it without the hibiscus. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of Mother's Little Helper and that's not my favorite tea, that's like a sleepy time tea. The hibiscus is like giving me that same vibe but I like this. You know what, I think I'd actually drink this like on a regular basis. I don't think I would like wait till I get a cold or anything like that. Like I could see myself enjoying this. Sometimes I'm craving mint, you know, like I used to like love that Moroccan mint and sometimes that would be my morning tea because mint like, you know, there's no energizing properties, but just like the, like the feeling of drinking mint makes me feel energized. And also it's good for your brain. Like peppermint is known to help like create neural pathways in your brain and it's just super good for you. I remember um, when we would do like the standardized testing in elementary school and sure who would give us peppermints because it helps your brain function. So um, I know this is spearmint, so it's a little different, but yeah, it's like, it's a stimulating flavor and it's an uplifting flavor and to have the eucalyptus in there with it, I feel like this tea is kind of like uplifting, like it's like almost like a good mood tea. I'm definitely not tasting any berries and I'm not tasting any like weird saltiness from the berries because you know it said that there's like five different flavors in this berry and I'm not tasting like anything that I can like pinpoint to that. Like I'm not like, ooh, there's something salty in here, ooh, there's something bitter in here. Definitely nothing bad. Like cooling as I expected. I expected it to feel like inhaling Vicks Vapor Rub or something like that. Um, and it definitely isn't that overpowering. It's much more pleasant and like enjoyable than I thought. Whether or not I would buy more of this tea. If Moroccan Mint ever came back, I would not buy this tea. Like I wouldn't buy this before that. Have a green tea with mint in it. I think I might actually like buy this one again before it goes away, like if it's going away. You never know when they're gonna make a tea part of the permanent collection or when they're just gonna like have the collection for a limited time and like let it go um, afterwards. So the more I am getting like a teeny tiny hint of like a berry, But nothing crazy, it's really nice. It's really enjoyable. 
Definitely not as like as overpowering as I expected. Definitely not as medicinal as I expected. I love the spearmint and the green tea together. And the eucalyptus, like I just, I feel like it's really uplifting. Like it's like a happy tea. So I am a fan of cool eucalyptus. Let only drink this tea when you're sick or would you give it a try as like your morning tea? Enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to drinking the rest of it. Having a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.